Hi you guys, my name is Maddie. I run Made by Maddie, a handmade jewelry business, and today this vlog is all about an American Eagle pop-up that I did, which is so exciting. I can't wait to show you guys these behind the scenes. Um, it starts off just with a little bit of me prepping for the show the day before and then actually being there, so I hope that you enjoy that. Something that I get asked a lot that you guys are probably wondering or would like to know before I even start this is how did I get this opportunity? How did they find me? How like did this come to be? Because it's not very frequently that that stores in the mall will actually host somebody like this. Sometimes it's like the mall will do a pop-up itself, but not necessarily a specific store. So one of the employees reached out to me on social media and was just like, hey, I love your work. Would you want to uh, come be a part of this event? We want to throw this event for you. So I was the only one there. She said she found me on TikTok. She ordered some earrings for me, loved them. Um, is the absolute sweetest ever oh my gosh like i made a new friend through this totally 100 percent. i'm so excited about that but um anyway so yeah all through social media she's just like i love your story i love what you do i love your work can we work together on this so then she set up this whole event for me and it was so cool like she got her um co-workers so excited about it and like passed out flyers and uh, made like little signs and she even made like a display board for me. Uh, you'll see that in the video too. It's just the sweetest thing ever. So that's how this came to be. If I had advice for anybody about it, it's just keep posting your story. Keep posting what you do. People love to see it. People are watching you. And yeah, just like if stuff is slow, don't like give up at all on it because again you never know who's watching you never know what opportunities are going to come from from it so just never ever 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 give up on what you're doing and constantly just strive to keep improving and making it better and build your craft and do that through doing what you love and really fun opportunities will come so i hope that you enjoy this vlog and let me know what you think about it in the comments to start us off, I just went to Joann's to get some decor. I wanted to DIY like a little backdrop so if people loved their purchases, they could take a picture and add it to their Instagram story. I thought it was really cute and honestly, I'll use it for background for my product photography too. So here I am just putting it together super, super, super easy. Uh, next time I would get more florals to cover the sides, but live and learn, I guess, right? Now here I am just making some extra things for the show such as these stickers to go on these bags. Then I made a trip to the post office, tagged all of my earring cards. Um, I actually ended up switching these out and used stickers instead but same process and it took me honestly forever. I didn't think it would take me nearly as long but I was still doing them in the car on the way there. So, <laughs> um, And then here I am making more product for the show. I had a lot of fun because I gave myself complete freedom to make whatever I wanted to make and so I had a lot of fun with creating creating new floral designs, which I always love. I really had the best time ever at this show. It was so, so, so fun. And the craziest thing, I'll go more in depth about like my thought process about things here soon. I know I need to like explain what I'm doing and why and everything more on YouTube. But um, to keep it short and simple, it's so crazy the way that I'll expect things to go a certain way or I'll think things. And like, 
dad will just work them out to be the exact opposite. And it's interesting because it's always better that way. Uh, so it's just like so, like that was probably the most rewarding thing is like it went totally different than I thought it would, but I wouldn't change that for anything. And if I'd gone into that knowing this is how it would have gone, I probably would like from the outside, I probably wouldn't have chosen to do it. But the things that like came from it were better than I ever could have expected. So it's just, it's so cool. Like I feel like I had more genuine customers and like people who are turning into friends rather than just like pass or buy mall goer customers you know and it's like i would so much rather have that like genuine connection with people and to like keep that relationship going and strong than to just have somebody like pick up a pair of earrings and then leave and then i never hear from them again right but like that's kind of what i was expecting going into like a mall setting and i was like that's gonna be awesome i'm gonna make so many sales but like honestly like these long-term relationships that were built are like a million times better and I never would have even known to like ask for that so you guys I'm so excited about where this is going and yeah like I said I could not have asked for a better outcome from this event but it's like in a complete opposite way than I was ever expecting so I'm so excited about that and to see like where this continues to grow so Oh my gosh, thank you guys so much again, as always, for all of your support and encouragement. And everybody sent me so many sweet um, like DMs through Instagram when I was like setting up and posting about it throughout my throughout the day on my Instagram story. And it's just the sweetest thing. You guys are just so nice. So thank you so, 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 so much for all of that. I could not do that without all of you, seriously. So I just, I have to thank you from the bottom of my heart a million times for the rest of my life. Um, anyways, so thank you again. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this and yeah, I'm gonna be one of those YouTubers and be like, don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> Thank you.